John Niatawa with the World Herald here with Rati and Nice, man. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Great. Is that right? Great job. Great job. Yep. Why, why don't you say it just yep. so everyone knows? Okay. Andronikashvili. Okay, so I was pretty yeah, close. It was, it was, it was, it was more than more than good. So I'm, I'm happy with that. Yep. He, originally from the country of Georgia, yep. comes all the way to the U.S. to play basketball for Creighton. I guess tell us what played into that decision. It's, it's such a journey. Um, why, why did Creighton fit for you? Uh, I think uh, the fact that Coach Huss has seen me play more than any other coach from college. Uh, from colleges he has been to my every tournament with my national team and he has seen me play more than 20 times probably and i believe that and i know that he understood the way i play more than anyone else and um, th i think that was the biggest factor obviously coach mac too because they watched the games together and uh, when i talked to both of them the things that they said that I was doing bad really made sense, and the things that I need to improve, I believe that they were the, those stuff were the really things, the aspects that I need to get better at, and that, that played the biggest role. You've, you've had to wait for your chance to make your debut. Suffered an ACL injury last year, but you stuck with it. I wonder, was there anything special about this campus, this team, this program that allowed you to kind of get through that adversity and, you know, I mean, it, it, it faced some adversity. You could have gone home. You could have stayed uh, home. Could have played pro ball. You have a lot of options. Why? Uh, why? You know I what? Think, what allowed you to stay here? That's a good question. I think that the first thing I said many times already today. I think it's the people around here. I think there's something special about them. I believe that uh, not only our fans, because our fans are amazing and they love us, but just the people in the campus, like around the city. Like I would go outside and they'd be smiling and they'd be happy, and I could see some positive vibes from them going. And I was at the, with, the, with my crutches and can I bend my knee and someone else being happy kind of helps you out too. I believe that. And uh, obviously it's a process and I believe that you cannot quit. Once you hit a diversity, you cannot just just go and leave it. Because I have a tattoo that says shoulda, woulda, coulda, which like if I laughed last year, I would, I would tell my grandkids after 30 years, I should have stayed there, you know? And I don't want to be a guy who regrets it. And I, I believe that I made the right choice. I know that I made the right choice and I will not regret it. And he's here now, a couple, well, we're about four weeks away from the season debut. Yep. How's it going getting back to full strength? Where do you feel now? And, and uh, what, what are you still trying to work on? Um, I'm, I'm, I'm working on not turning the ball over and uh, getting my pace as it was before. I like to play fast, and I think those two are my biggest challenges. Uh, I'm practicing with the team 100%. My knees 100% back. I am expected to play our first game if everyone everything goes as planned. I don't want to jinx it because the last time I had two weeks left of the game, this time I have a little bit more. So I don't want to jinx it, but I'm expected to play. That's the buzzer. It's all the time we have. Rati Andrana Kashvili. Great. Appreciate you, man. Yep.